Hey guys, and welcome back to more Middler Shadow of Mordor. So the new ability I did not mention in the last episode was Ring Wraith. Each kill gives Wrath energy. When your Wrath is full, press 5 to summon ghastly Gondorians to fight by your side and make your melee attacks more lethal. When you completed, you raise nearby orcs from death. This replaces Kel Kerabimbor's Elven Wrath. So, receive... Um, I'm gonna go with Poison Weapons. Because that's just good. I need to do champions in Minas Morgul. Um, don't think I have anybody here who's of particular stock. We could open. I'm wondering if we could open a couple chests. Because I haven't really spent any of my gold this whole time. So, yeah. Why don't we open 10 chests? quickly here let's see if we can get a legend because then we could use that to beat this fight pit so legends will always be purple this is an epic so it's not a legend it is so we actually got a legend in two packs which is pretty good um are we gonna yeah we can hold on to the rest of our packs because We'll grab them after we kind of more powerful. So, oops. I'm gonna quickly run up and kill these guys. Oh. That's one of my guys. It doesn't look to be. I don't know why he's stumbling about like that. That really doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Okay. So we need to go army. Oh no, sorry. It's not even army. It is market followers. Then we bring in Ashgorn the Tartitian. He should be deployed on one of the empty spots. I'm just gonna do a couple epics too, just in case I I need them. Cause I have a couple here. From opening packs. I was playing around with opening packs, so earlier. Cause you get so much Marian that you get so many chests. Okay, so army. So we don't have any um, war chiefs or anything here. But we can command them to be my bodyguard. May as well. So we want to also look at his details kind of closely. So does he have a gang? That's the first thing to look. Oh, he can't be shamed, which is pretty good. Okay, he's flame. So he has a flame weapon. So it does not appear with the ganks, that's one thing we can get him. Oh man, he gets he's a pretty crazy guy. Okay, so we want to command. Oops. Yeah, whatever. Two training orders. So what's this? Oh, we'll hold on to that. He's already epic, and I don't need to. So, Garrison is how you get him back. Okay. Well. None of these should affect kind of his. Oh, I should. Oh, because I gave him a mount, he can't have a gang. Oh no. Maybe he can't get a gang of Olox. I'm guessing that's maybe it. 
Oh, well, I guess I'll give him a savage gang then. And I think that's all that we want. If you give him the defender gang, it will just replace the other gang. So, yeah, there you go. Now we'll go to the fight pits, and he should pretty much destroy. put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. Yeah, Mac the machine is pretty insane. I kind of want to get him as a follower just because I love him so much. So. So I'm going to hold on to him then. And by hold on to him, I mean not kill him so that I can recruit him later. So. Here's fight pit maggots. Ash god. Who's now this? You face a true follower of the dark flame. What and learn, you globs! What and learn! Okay, so his mouth's now poisoned. The mount doesn't seem to be particularly useful at all, but... Wanted to, wanted to give it to him just to make him, if not anything else, just cooler. So. Come on, do something! If nothing else, the savage gang is chopping him up. Well, there's one hit, there's two hits, there's three hits, there's four hits, and... No, nope, I thought that was going to be the killing blow. He keeps dodging, but... There we go. Brutalized. Holy crap, look at all the gear I got for that. That's insane. New mission now available. We'll just fight pit warriors. One time award of 5,000. Get ready to lose! Don't make me wait! Come get some! See, I'm not sure if the character there is really that good, but like I said, it's pretty cool to have a character mount. But pop pretty much here caused them more harm than good. So far, he's getting archered pretty bad, hardcore, but. Now that he actually got up to him, he's get he's rocking it pretty good. Oh, I didn't even know he had that ability. Defeated Scud the Slippery. We got, again, a ridiculous amount of items. And we can do Fight Pit Champions. Oops. Oh, 
I kind of want to know what that quick turn was. I thought I saw that, but... Send fall into the fight pits, though. For power and glory. We get the untying loyalty if we win. So, let's send in Ashgarn. I've got moves you've never seen. Bring me another one! So they're both in categories, so... So he fell off his character first. And he has hunters which keep kind of peppering my guys. So. But the savages seem to be defeating his gang of hunters, so that's good. He's now on fire. He is higher level than I am, so. And he keeps dodging these attacks, but. The triple thing is just ridiculous. But the thing is, this is a legendary follower, and his guy's just a uh, regular, so. Perfect. There's Craghorn Fog Blood defeated. Select a dead follower and press 3 to raise him as a revenant. Revenants lose 5 levels, you sign the race, and can never again gain levels. They're more susceptible to fire, but less. Susceptible to poison. Revenants of their tribe affiliation, their form Purcells of Blibbird. They will never betray you. There we go. So if anybody dies, I can raise them as a revenant then. That's kind of cool. Look at Ashgard in here again. So what's that yell ability? Rabbit? Yeah. All who hear it. Knocking them to the ground, beating them. Like to rip and place that quickly. And then he has like that triple attack too. So <laughs> just insane this guy I almost want to bring him to a different area which I think I will because he's just too good to leave here where they, he can't be I'll make Ishmaz the leader here and then we'll head out because I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Oops. Well, I guess that's fine because I don't think there's anything we're doing here. So, is it all of them who have quests or just the one? I think it's just this one for the moment. So, just thinking, depending on how, which guys I have here, but you actually want to open up a couple more chests to upgrade this area. So, I'm actually pretty sure that's what we're going to do. Yeah, these guys are all pretty, pretty weak. Oh, I have Thrak the Tar Slayer here. He's legendary. Yeah, but he's he's mortally sickly, so he's pretty much useless. Anything anybody that can be killed instantly is extremely weak and you don't really want. So we'll leave him in general, but so yeah, let's open up a couple more of these quests. Um should have unopened ones, yeah, perfect. I'm holding on to a lot of the other ones too. For later. So that was just epic. 
I guess I could look at the training orders, but those are epics. I actually like these because you get two training orders plus you get like, or sorry, you get a training training order and two followers, you know what I meant to say. So it's nice to get training orders to upgrade your followers once you get a legendary one. That's the defenders. Savages. Bulldogs. War training, we have followed level by five, and that's actually quite good. If you don't want to go to the pits. Okay, we could probably, we have enough money to buy some more, so. I don't want to my legendary war chief chest. How many more can we afford? Can we afford another 10? Looks like we can. So, we're not doing too bad. I'm using up a lot of my mirror hits here, though. That's a cursed weapon. Artezu. You can't be on here if you want to use your next chest, not sure what that's about, but what's that? Oh that's the recitement, which is a good one to have. Archers? You can see how kind of rare legendaries are. If I don't get a... Well... I'm wondering if I would want to save. I probably do want to save some money. That's a legendary, isn't it? Yeah. Arcaro. I'll finish off these 10 chests here. Because maybe we'll get another legendary. I don't think I want... Do I want two legendaries in this area? Maybe not. Okay. So now we can build up this army. Oops, sorry, that's not the one I want. Well, let's look. I guess none of these guys are gonna be good because they're all gonna be too low levels, so. So I'm gonna need Probably at least four. So you can even just having Ashgard as my bodyguard for this area. Which is probably what we do want to do. Um, we'll hold on to our Caro. Which means I'm gonna need one. Well, I may as well go with. Okay, so you need one bodyguard. Oh, sorry, you need. A warlord needs two bodyguards as well. So. So that's. Um, Four with the bodyguard plus I want to take out a new warlord as well. So. So that's five. But while I was talking, I lost count. But we'll do two more. That should be fine. We do have 28, so. I love I love Ologs as um, so in general so Bone Shaker is which Okay, it's fine. Then you guys are all logs, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, what about this guy? Not it much matters too much, but Ram the Arbiter. Okay, so that should allow me enough. So now, okay. 
So it would like throw up. Okay, so we're. Oh, wait, that's just him. So I just want him to be my bodyguard. Okay, let's look at his details. He's vulnerable to stealth, which isn't a big deal if he's my commander. Flame weapon here, he has a gang of warriors, but I'm just gonna see if he can get him to grab the whole locks. Okay. Thinking he'd be of more use as uh, one of my bodyguard, one of my war chiefs. Cause he has a lot of kind of power, kind of as in combats here so i can give him a whole log gang and if you watch well i'll show you guys that will that will replace his his gang of warriors at least it should yeah see he doesn't have a gang of warriors you know as a gang of old logs so any other training orders we can give him that are interesting here he has a fire weapon so i don't think there's anything i can give it that's particularly interesting yeah. Okay. These replace um, epic traits. So. Which is fine. We won't bother with replacing traits. What's his epic traits? Firemaster and Epic Rage. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I wanted to look at Pash. So he's soft headed. Okay, so you're just gonna be. You can just. You can just go through Chief. You're not even particularly good for that, but. Do I not have enough? One, two, three, four, five. I should. Okay. Let's look at him. He's beast fodder, which is. Oh. Why are these guys soft headed? Like. Soft headed, probably the weakest one. Because War Chiefs will shoot him in the head. Like, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. If you press the wrong key, that will also happen. <laughs> Which is probably one of the more annoying things. Okay. I do want to show you guys this because it is interesting how you plan to kind of defend your fortresses. But feel free, if you're not interested in this, just to skip this part. But God damn it, I just did it again. It's two I need to press and not space. But two is usually the, the key you um, use to do that, so... I got it this time. What I should do actually is set my other um, war chief. So. so let's look at Arbor. Oh, I can't can't do Arbor because he's in uh, phased after stealth attacks, poison master, slayer, fast learner. Oh yeah, I think Arbiter would actually be a pretty good. Raged by cowards. Yeah. But I'll have to go kill Narug so I can give him some a quest, but that's fine. Oh, I can't even upgrade him. Okay, well, we'll quickly go kill Narug. Oh, that's way over there. Or is that actually near the fortress? It is, okay. Sit. 
Perfect. Oh, that's right. Look fierce. I probably won't notice how you're quivering in fear. I've had enough of you. Time to shut you up forever. One hit kill him. Oh, he's only level 23. So. So. Okay, now let's. Let's hope I can use Arbiter. Sometimes, if after you do that, they just get engaged in other stuff, so. I probably will have to get Crycorn killed in order to replace him. I'm guessing. Yeah. So, we're actually nearby. I believe the fight pits is right over there. So we can get him killed so we can replace him. Probably not gonna be replaced no mental legendary because I'm not got that much, so. Sure. I guess I could use this to upgrade my guide legendary, so Let's I guess that's one thing I could do. Lesson, shall we? You look weaker than the last club! Okay, stop being fancy, just kill the guy. Or get killed. Actually, I'd rather get you I'd rather you get killed. This is a legendary against the regular as well, so. But my guy's quite a bit high level, so. I'm surprised this guy would would put his guy in the fight pits. But it does no matter. These two orcs like to show off a lot. But I'm suspecting my guy. Well, I'm not actually sure who's gonna win. His doesn't even have a flaming weapon or anything. So. He'd be like Tark Slayer. He'd just be a legendary he got from participating in the campaign. He just keeps taunting while he gets badger. Yeah, good, he's gonna die. He's almost dead. Come on, just kill him! Okay, there you go. But he's just, he survived a long time. Well, that's good. I'm very happy. Okay. Grom. Okay. So now I can go back to my upgrading. Spreading orders. They would replace his poison master victory. Okay, well. Can he have a ban of Olox? He can. Let's go with that. I think you just can't have Karagor and Orlox. What was the other thing I was thinking of giving them?
I mu oh, I must not have any more of those Karakor things. Which is fine. So. Okay. So. I need to replace him. Oh, you can- I can reposition. Oh, I thought you'd have to kill it. Okay, well that's- That's not the- That's not the way you usually do it, but that's fine. I have no problem with that. So you, can, you can't go this way, but you can go the opposite way. That's just weird. But anyway, okay. So, I suppose Zoo has a soft head, right? So I don't like him. Otherwise, he'd be quite good. Oh no, he also has a fear of execution. So he's basically useless. I actually think they've even just get open up another one. Because he's so bad. Oops. Did, I, did we look at Tasty? See, he's soft headed as well. He's terrified of stealth. Which isn't the end of the world. Yeah, so he's, actually, he's immune to execution. So he's generally pretty good. Let's quickly open up one more. Oops, not that one. Just followers. Guess we can look. Bicycle charge head well, or shadow strike. Okay, well let's even just destroy him. So, lesson learned. Is to look at them before you. Morgan flies is bad. Fear of pinning. Pinning is pretty common. Oops. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is probably the smarter way of doing it. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Soft target's fine. Trapper. Yeah, see, like this is actually a good um, one. Yeah, let's deploy him. The reason I'm having a captain is um, you can bring your cap or your bodyguard being a legendary is you can bring your legendary into this fight if you have him as your bodyguard where during this siege it's not as important to have really good guys so i think borg was the good oh actually no he's not super good i was thinking of that as a, a what's it called Sorry, as a war chief, that's not a warlord because you don't get stealth attacked too much because it gets pretty hard to get stealth attacked. So, yeah, we'll make him. Oops, oh, I can't command him either. Jesus Christ, that's so annoying. Okay, well, let's get everybody else organized then. I guess I can't really organize anybody else. Unless Pash is good. Vulnerable to execution. Oh yeah, he's soft-headed as well. So is Boris doing any good? No, he was soft-headed. These guys are all soft-headed and useless. But... I guess that's fine. Okay, so he is... Oh no, that's our same guy I already had. Okay, so... Whatever. The guard war chief. Okay, so then I have... Where am I... 
one short again. So that's two. Yeah, it must be one short again. Must not be very good at counting. Okay, well, let's get another good one. That was by fire, that's not bad. Rapid flying axes. Yeah, that's actually really good. Light Lord, yeah. This is actually a really solid. fight or anything good. Okay. Command him. So we position with him. So So I just need to get key and then key and board can be his bodyguards. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Took us that long to organize one area. But it's still pretty cool. That's the game in this part is kind of organizing your war chiefs and everything. And that's even having um, warlords. Imagine if we didn't have any warlords. It'd be even worse. How far away is that? It's waltz right by that. Hey dear. So. No, nope, can't. Can't teleport there. Okay, we'll just teleport above it and we'll hop up. I can't. I can't tell and strike up there. This should be a, probably another one-hit kill. Nothing in Mordor matters more than this little treasure trove. You hear me? Nothing. No surprise, and we're getting them no matter what. Oh, man. Oh, really? He has the goddess in a pretty good attack there. Oh, and then our other... So this other thing we want to do, actually is we want undying loyalty so we can resurrect captains and hire orc followers. Okay. Now back to army. Just make sure we press two and not space because then we reset that whole organization again. Do I even want to get all these guys bodyguards? I guess I could. May as well, because then this area would be done. Okay. Just quickly look. He has a gang archer, so that's fine. You have a gang? No, okay. So Bork is going to has already a gang, so I'll leave him. So Skortuka. Or Bork, Tuka, or Janak, I gave all of this already. This is fine. Yeah. Borkuk? No. 
Oh. What's this? Leaves the gang of highly skilled savages. So can... I'm gonna take a chance and see if this replaces his gang of savages. Okay. I don't want to risk it. I'm. Or do I? Yeah, I'm gonna risk it because I'm curious. If it will replace his elite skill. Oh, it just gives him an elite. It just gives him that gang, but elite. That's cool. So it's Tuka and Borg. Well, I have tons of defenders, so. And just for a little bit of thing, what else do I have? So I don't have a whole ton of them. Yeah, but I may as well give you defenders as well. I should save my Ologs for like these guys. Because Ologs, the gang of Ologs is probably the best one. Well, there we go. So I think this one is actually done. Took us a full episode, but we got it organized. So anyway guys, I think we'll call this episode here. We'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys, later. Is that a... Looked like someone shadow attacked him, but later.